Hey everybody, before we get into our 10 minute review of The Rise of Skywalker, I just want to let you know about our sponsor. It's a film called Sir John A. and the Curse of the Antiquenched. It's a fun film and you can get it on iTunes this Christmas for only $1.99. Check out curseoftheantiquenched.com. Okay, we're going to do our review of uh, Star Rise. Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, uh, um, just an alert, this is be riddled with, with super spoilers. spoilers. All of our stuff has pretty much been spoiler. Uh, we normally do 10 minutes, but uh, we may go over it. You and I have not talked at all since we've both seen, no, seen no, it. Exactly. The only correspondence we've had is for me to tell you I, I saved you a poster from the pre-screening. That's pretty so. much it. Yeah, I went in there without any expectations whatsoever. You didn't see many trailers either, eh? I saw one... And then I completely forgot about almost everything until like it happened in the movie. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I saw that. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Hitting the 10 minute timer now. All right. So, like it or not like it? I liked it, actually. I really liked it. Really liked it? Okay. I think it's my favorite of the new trilogy. Okay. Um, it has problems. Lots of problems. Like all of them have problems. Yep. Even the originals have problems. Yeah. But I feel like people sometimes need to kind of calm down and stop nitpicking at every little thing. Yeah. Fair. It enough. has problems. I, but hundred percent has problems. I don't like the ending. No. I think it's a better story. I think it's a better ending if Kylo survived, and Ray kept like stayed dead. If he was yeah. the one that goes back to his ancestral. Like his grandparents, or sorry, his his parents. Well, I mean, his uncle. You know what I mean? Like it makes more sense for him to go. It is to a Skywalker Tatooine. story. Like he's the Skywalker. Yeah. He's the one that rises. He's the one that turns. And bringing Ray back from the dead just felt cheap. A little bit. And I didn't like that. I think it it's a better story for that, his end. That ending leaked. Eh? Did it? Yeah, that's like, and people were like. Like, I heard about that, like, a, a while like ago. Like, the Raylo ending? Yeah, just, like, that they're going to team up and fight Palpatine. Really? I, again, I knew nothing going in. I had no expectations. I told people, like, don't tell me if it's good or bad. I don't want to yeah. know. I don't want to know. I rewatched Episode 7, rewatched Episode 8. Was like, Episode 8's not as bad as I thought it was. Go it was. It Remember? still has problems, and I still hate a lot of the stuff in Episode 8. That I, tried doing, I tried doing Episode 8 before... Like a while ago, and I got up to like the first little <laughs> battle, and I was like, "Me was the Leia thing." I was like, "Oh, it's so good!" And then she comes out like, "Come on, uh, come right. on!" So, do you want to talk about stuff you liked about? It yeah. First, so I to the... let's talk about the stuff. I we will liked. say too, I did like it. I do have a lot of questions and issues with it. Okay. But I would will say overall, I enjoyed my cinema experience. Yes. But I did leave with more questions and. I do feel like it is. It was good, but it was too little, like too little, too late. That's the. I think the. See the thing. I have to. I'm gonna go on a whole limb thing. There, there's no one that hates Star Wars more than Star Wars fans. <laughs> and someone told me that, and I'm like, you know what? That's really true. Yeah. Uh, how many good Star Wars movies are there actually? Episode four, episode five. People hated episode six when it came out. Yeah. Episode one, no one liked it. Episode two, everyone detested it. Episode three, everyone's like, well, it's the better of all of them, but it still kind of sucks. Yeah. Like, no one's been happy with Star Wars since, like, Empire. Really? Like, truly, fully. Yeah. Like, fully, like, because that's almost almost everyone's favorite is Empire. It's, yeah, seemingly. But when it came out, people didn't like Empire either. But that's the, that's the point. Like, a lot of people didn't. Then there's problems with it. Do you think it's just, like, the loud people that complain about stuff? or And then people kind of just join the bandwagon? Maybe. I, I don't know. I, I, I think it's a it's a mix of nostalgia feeling and nostalgia like wrong... glasses of, like, people yeah. appreciating. I mean, Star Wars is great and what it did in its time. But re-looking back at it, you're just like... Some of it, you're like, yeah, well, yeah, but what about this? Or there, there's been problems. There has been a lot of problems. Yeah. And then, like, people are saying this one is like ruining all the previous ones and throwing everything out out of the window. I'm like, they've been doing that for years they, before yeah. that. George Lucas has they've been, been doing retconning that. Yeah. things left and right since yeah. the, when the prequels came out. N almost nothing made sense for the originals oh, anymore. No, like it no. was, it's it's always been sort of a mess. You just gotta sit back and enjoy it. I think the new trilogy works. But you have to sit back and enjoy it and not compare it to the originals. That's no, the, I, I think that's, think you, that's, that's where people kind of... I don't think you should compare it, but they did set a precedent of the rules of Star Wars. There are rules, and I know some of these rules can kind of... They kind of go willy-nilly. I will say Episode 9 makes Episode 8 stronger because it 
changes it. Yeah, I suppose. Which is a good thing. Um, it feels like they really didn't plan this new trilogy. Oh, a hundred percent they didn't. But they I mean, we don't didn't... know a hundred percent. We don't know like what the oh, well, plan they, was originally. They were filming episode, or they were the like, Ryan Johnson was writing before they even finished shooting the other one, and like still, nobody, nobody still, there's got there must have been a, a an arc somewhere. There is no Kevin Feige of the Star Wars universe, and again, and it uh, shows. Either either they planned something. And it didn't happen because episode eight came out. People crapped on it. And they're like, well, we got a piece of fans now and changed episode nine. There was a lot or of Or was there like, I don't know. Yeah. We will never know a hundred percent for sure if it was fully like, I don't think it was fully planned, but I don't know where the end game was. Ha. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but I hey, feel, I feel, and JJ. you probably feel the same it's thing. JJ. Did he plan it? Probably not. <laughs> uh, I will say like, yeah, it doesn't feel planned at all it, it doesn't feels feel planned it feels kind of willy-nilly a little bit i don't know man like there is i feel like there's a lot of the new trilogy there's just missed opportunities i missed I, opportunities for hero moments with han oh. solo leia um you know obviously to me there's some it also grasp, feels like what i didn't like about the new series i will say is it just feels like they're pushing out every single old like original characters, yeah, all like, of them. Like they're just like here, let's, old piece of shit. But I know, and it just it didn't feel respectful. Like you know what? I really liked Solo dying. Like everyone that was fucking. Great. I really liked C three PO. They're like fuck off C three. That's another. That's another thing too. C three PO. You know what? He should have lost the memory completely or been fried. There's no stakes. They were just like that's the problem. They're like Chewie's dead. We, he's clearly dead, and there's no other spaceships. When I was like, I was oh, like, there's oh, another man. spaceship. I'm like, if they do Ch- Chewie dirty like that, I'm like, I would have liked him. A, I'm like, I, give I, him a good death. See, I, I I was debatable on that too. I'm like, do him a good death, but at the same time, I'm like, if that's it, I'm okay with it because that's a really? risk. That's a big risk that they would have taken doing uh, that. I see. I see. You're just like, yeah, whatever. Fuck it. I don't care anymore. Well, like, burn the house down. But I'm like, this is the last one, right? Like, let's let's see where they're going. It's just like, imagine Ray find like knowing that Chewie's dead, but then when she finds out he's not dead, I'm like, she should she should have known he wasn't dead to begin with. She would have felt that, wouldn't she? Yeah. Also, Finn has force powers now. I feel like it's playing on like almost everyone is kind of has. I can force feel it. Positive. I powers don't. yeah i was like that's weird also i was okay with am that. i like crazy can the f- i didn't know the force could like heal bullet wounds um yeah no the force can there's 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 healing yeah it, 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 i mean this is a spoiler for the mandalorian yeah but there they, is there is brought it, it is brought on the mandalorian but so i don't like, know if they was, did that was first there, to kinda, was there a precedent for that see i don't know but i'll tell you what wasn't a precedent bringing people that back from the freaking death that's not a precedent. Oh, well, doesn't Darth Plagueis, wasn't that like the, that whole no, thing from the original? No. If you remember in the it, episode three. He didn't uh, end up doing it. Empire, Yeah. The Emperor Palpatine says, he's like, I know someone who did it. If you join me, kind of da, da, da. And then when he does join, he's like, well, I don't really know, but well, let's learn it together. And it's just like, okay. So no one really knows how to bring back people from the dead. Well, apparently Palpatine and his fucking metal crew, but like. I feel like that's. See, a lot of people are, weren't happy with like Palpatine. I like Palpatine. I feel like but he's they the opposite. To set him up way in advance. That's the thing. That's the problem with Nine. The biggest problem. It's an enjoyable movie, but it feels too rushed like they because to it shove feels three movies worth. That's of the plot. thing. Like a lot of things that happened in this movie should have already started halfway through episode, t- like episode uh, seven, uh, eight. Force Awakens, like little things, right? Like I, I did like that Snoke was was ultimately like palpatine but there's no hints to that since the beginning it's just kind of thrown nah, at you nah, nah. it is cool i just wish there was build up to it that's the thing there's no build up to it it and starts off and it's I like know. here's the emperor boom i get it it feels kind of like end game hindsight in that way yeah, hindsight being 2020 star wars should have done a marvel path where the skywalker films are the avengers right right things. right right and then there's these smaller things like we get a just a Ray story, just a Finn story, right, just a Poe right, right. story, and then they start building up so into. It, it, bigger... Honestly, they would probably be making more money. Yeah, like <laughs> man, I would happily go spend time, even if it's a smaller film. Like you know what I mean? Like it's like an Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, film. I will say, I will and say, and it's what... just Finn and Poe going around. I will say, I really like that aspect of it—the adventure, the Indiana Jones esque. I mean, Poe is even dressed up pretty much. Like you know, what? I'll say Jones. it starts out solid. Like, it does. It does. Kylo Ren. And it feels a little rushed at the beginning, but you have to, to understand, right? Like they have to. 
Let's or else the, there's no story. Find the triangle MacGuffin. And yeah. yeah. A lot of MacGuffins in this movie. We got to get this to get this. And we got to go find that's, this. That's like that. But that's adventure movies. There's yeah. so much like there is. There's all there's always a MacGuffin. All Almost right. every single film has MacGuffins when so, it comes to ad- action adventures. Credit crawl starts and it's like, oh, the dead speak. And I'm like, yeah, eh, I don't know about that. And then they just like lay it out like, all right, this is like they lay out kind of like what a first 10 minutes of a movie would have been in the credit crawl that they've all the crawls have always done that though the crawls have always no, brought in like they they set you up but i don't know the palpatine thing like i think they really sh- shit fucked up killing snoke and if snoke wasn't the ultimate baddie they should have done something else with him or the, they should have set something else up with Palpatine. I think that the, wow, we've we already got, reached we that. We're not even halfway we're through. Gonna, we're going to get through <laughs> some more stuff here. Um, yeah. Welcome to the extended edition, <laughs> which is what episode nine should have been. It should, this thing should have been nine hours, four hours. Okay. Maybe four hours, would but you like been happier with the part one and two. Yeah, actually, I think I would so. have been happy with that because you wouldn't have had the, the the feeling of like, oh, we fell in this hole, we found this. Oh, I'm just standing at this thing, and here's this thing I could see right now. Like it just felt kind of like the adventure, convenient plot. Yeah, convenience. I like the action adventure. I like the Indiana Jones esque feeling to it, but sometimes it felt rushed. I could understand the rush that they were going through because they had to do so much. The problem is they had to do the job. Of what the uh, the the episode eight should have been, about. yeah. Like that's the problem. I think episode eight shit the bed, and episode nine is trying to make think, up for that. Do and you do... think episode eight? I know you said you didn't hate it that much, but how much did episode eight actually further any plot lines? That's the thing. The, like the zero. The, the the only thing it furthered is the Ray Luke thing and the Ray Luke Kylo like situation. Kind of, but like it was enough. Like, but that's 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 very minimal. It could have been condensed. Yeah. That's the thing, right? There was a lot of stuff there. Like, we don't need, like, nipple milking green milk. We don't need that. Yeah. It was a little strange. I mean, it's fine. You want to put that in there. Um, but the whole situation with Haldo and Poe and, 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 and uh, Fantas- Rose, uh, Rose and, and, and Finn... Didn't care for it at the, all. The Rose Frustrated stuff, too, in this me. movie was kind of funny. Like, I know. are you going to come? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> and I feel like that's, that's fan. That, I feel like that's that's totally appeasing to fans. Like, people did not like Rose. Let's not put her in the adventure. No. She was <sighs> extra stuff that didn't I didn't need like to be her. There. I didn't like her in episode eight. I, no, I, and she... then, like, especially that ending. And they're, they're, they're completely, like, completely never mentioning that kiss again. Yeah. Either. Like, let's also, never acknowledge that ever again. Poe's all like, I forgot to tell you. And then they fall down the ground. Finn. Yeah. Fu- Finn says Finn's, it. Uh, yeah. yeah. He falls down in that hole. And they're like, what'd you forget to tell me? Nothing. And then that never comes up again. It comes up when they're about to die between Poe and Finn. But yeah. If yeah. anything, I would have loved a Poe. Uh, 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 a Finn. Finn and Poe. Like everybody a was foe. hugging and kissing. A kid, foe. <laughs> hugging and kissing at the end. I was, Heck yeah. I was totally. There was like tons of stuff online about them too. Right. Right. I, I'd uh, foe. I'd uh, yeah. Foe. I'd be like, ah, whatever. You won oh, the thanks. rebellion. Do you like at the end Chewie finally got his medal? Yeah, it felt like again like fan service, but it it still felt it's a little too meta. little too late. You know what I will say? <laughs> my girlfriend brought up that the old films in her like doesn't watch Star Wars, but I've yeah. seen a few. The old ones felt more she said authentic and like effortless. That like the dialogue is more true at the time, whereas this right 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 it feels like they're winking at the camera every now and then, like every little bit they're like ah, I remember this. That was cool, right? Yeah, there's, there's except fucking three PO. We fucking hate three PO. I mean, I I like three PO's involvement in this. I miss three PO, but it, it, sometimes it felt a little too much, right? Like it's like okay, you can stop hating on him, and then eventually when he's got a, t- a chance to pretty much die, they're like, oh, but then he comes back. But come on, yeah. he's a robot. Just kill him. Yeah, it's I... the end. Kill everything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I like, still liked it. I still enjoyed it. I had a great time at the movies. The other thing is, too, right? Like, there is some, like, plot stuff where, like, Kylo Ren throws out this thing, like, oh, because I'm, like, a Skywalker and you're a Palpatine. We're, like, some special duo that's this special thing. And he says this one word. I don't even remember what it is. He's, like, we're this special force combination that only happens once in a bajillion years. And then Palpatine says it again. And then all of a sudden Palpatine can, like, 
take life force from people, which I was like, uh, that's new. Like, <laughs> like he's like a Death Eater. Like, there's a lot. Yeah, I, I will say that ending did feel very Harry Potter ending. This is a spoiler for the ending of Harry Potter, but like, um, you've got Ray whose parents died at the hand of Palpatine, which is very <laughs> much like Voldemort. And there's like, and then like all the uh, all the previous deaths are like like killed Jedi's come back. I mean, I was almost imagining them like in the background as ghosts, kind of exactly like it happens in Harry Potter. Just like it felt very Harry Potter esque at that point. I did like to hear all the famous voices over oh, the yeah. time, right? Qui Gon Jinn, Mace Windu, so, so Obi Wan, Obi Wan. Uh, I'm the... pretty sure you you Hayden also hear like uh, oh, uh, what's her 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 name? Um, oh, the chick with the long. Yeah, yeah, she's in uh, she's, she's in Clone in, Wars. She's in the Clone Wars. Yeah, yeah, I know you're. She's in about. there. Like you hear them all, right? It just I I like that aspect when things kind of all connect together, like as a whole, is nice. Yeah. But still, yeah, the the movie has problems. They're obsessed also with just Death Stars. They're like, oh yeah, we built a Death Star. We put a Death Star gun on the Star Destroyer. They oh, they like, like they like destroying planets. Like that's the ultimate. Palpatine weapon. is now a Death Star with his hands. He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> like like what why didn't he do that all the time it feels i think it's just because it's over years and you know he's he's got all the sith in him at this point and all this stuff um i think it feels sometimes like it's like superman powers you just they just keep adding more and yeah. more and more and you're just like oh he also can do this and he also can do that you know when you and play... you can also bring back like people from the dead and you can also just electrify the sky yeah you and play you... video games with a kid and they're like but also i can do this <laughs> i man i don't know and then yeah and then he's just got like all these dudes hanging out with him up in that place i like... want to know more about those i want to know more about the freaking wren i'm glad they're in here but they felt knights of wren they felt like there was glorified that one, stormtroopers. They, like, they, where's the rest of it, you know? There was that one shot where they're on the... Uh, it's a cool shot, but it's like circling them and they're on that like higher rock in yeah, the desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks just like a heavy metal video from like <laughs> 1992. Like, they look like they're going to drop the biggest album because they're all holding their guns <laughs> and axe things. Like, I mean, they fall like a house of cards. Like, Yeah, I know. I mean, Kylo Ren is probably my favorite character in the, in the new trilogy. Me too. He's really great. Um, and I feel like he was left without, he was killed without his final resolution. Like that shouldn't have been his ending to me. That's my biggest gripe about the whole movie as a whole. The whole trilogy as a whole is Kylo Ren should have went, gone back to tattooing. He's the one that Ray should have died there. Her story ends there. Like, her, cause that's her arc, right? She's done. She, she discovers she's a Palpatine. She overcomes it. I mean, I would have liked it if, even if she turned bad. That would have been cool, too. It would have been kind of neat, right? But again, I'm fine with her, but I was fine with her dying. And people were like, oh, well, like, she just died. I'm like, yeah, I feel like she the would hard, just die. The hard thing is, though, like, for <laughs> for um, Ben to stay alive is, like, he can't go back to anything. That's what makes it interesting. Like, he can't go back to the Rebellion. But, like, imagine if he tried. Like, you know what I mean? It adds... Some interesting conflict because Ben is kind of it's not it's it's a it's not a I don't like happy sappy endings yeah. where everything's just like oh and everyone's back alive and everything's good and it's just there's like no, no like, there's no loss like right but like if Ben was to like how do go you, back uh, home and just like uh, of course he he's kind of alone in the galaxy but he still feels at peace I don't know it just it feels better to me it's more that's of like my a opinion. complete. If you name the movie this guy, Rise of Skywalker, movie. it's his. He's the and Skywalker. And there was no even like discussion of like, like Ray being like, "Is it cool if I use your name?" Like, it just if and I, I didn't like that. Like, who are you? It's like ah, did you have to do that? Like they say I, like, even if they left it up to interpretation, like it just cuts to credit. You know, like at the end of uh, the one Avengers movies where he yells Avengers, Avengers, and, and then, then he cuts, cuts yeah. doesn't say the because you know what he's gonna say. Yeah, it's, it's like it leaves it up for in some interpretation that people maybe like maybe she did, maybe or she like didn't. the Inception thing, right? Like is, is yeah, it gonna did, stop? Is, is it gonna, it gonna stop, keep going? But they're gonna be like, no, hundred percent. Now she's a Skywalker. She changed her name. That's the like I don't know. I I still feel the stronger ending. Apparently they shot like sixteen different endings. Yeah, and I think it they, a bunch of times. Like, I think they do people, different stuff on purpose like that now. I, I to, think the problem though is people want the happy sappy ending, right? They don't want the no, like. Yeah, in a way, yes. They everyone do. likes 
happy endings. I'm a I'm a I'm a cynical person, and I like once in a while let the bad guy win. You know? Yeah. I'm not gonna name any like movie specifically to ruin uh, the experience for it, but there are movies out there where the bad guy wins, and it's awesome. Yeah. It's great because it feels. I'm, I I know it's like it feels like real life, but like sometimes the good guys don't win. No, it's true. You know. If there was some hardcore thing like they set up, like Palpatine comes back and he he screws up some stuff with Ray, he screws up some stuff with Leia even, and then like that was what made Kylo turn back and he's gonna go screw up Palpatine now, like you know. You could also yeah, that, that's the other thing too. You could have left it on a on a like great things are coming, but like this is the end, right? Like yeah. It's kind of it's kind of the ending of Empire where like things are kind of up in the air. Yeah, that could have been a cool ending too. I would have been like, it doesn't have to be fully resolved. I don't know. There's so much the they movie. Can do, there's like... a lot of potential, and I hated Episode Eight for it because every choice that they made seemed to be the wrong one. It went in the wrong direction. Why did you not just keep her dead? Like ki- kill Leia. It was the perfect moment. Boom, yeah. she's gone. You know, and th- th- this movie had less of those moments where I was actually angry at it. Like, had- why did why did Rose ram into freaking Finn? Finn should have died there. Great sacrifice. No, she crashes into him. Hopefully, they survive and goes. We saved the ones we love. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I don't you, like that. You almost you pretty well killed everyone here though. So. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing too. Episode eight, they kill so many people. Because of the decisions they made, because the rebe- like, are they called the rebels? I guess I think the so. Eh? Resistance. The resistance. The resistance are really dumb in that movie. Yeah, they make dumb decisions, it's and they're Leia's they're, not the general. She's just like hanging out there. They're really dumb in this movie. In that movie, and it causes so much death. There's a reason why there's like 20 people. Also, that's another thing. There's like less than 20 people left at the end of Last Jedi. Yeah. And, like, all of a sudden you see this giant plan. I mean, I guess that you're like, oh, the other people from the galaxy showed, showed up. But up. it just, it felt like, where did all these people come from? There was, like, barely anybody left yeah. last time. Which, yeah, that's the other thing, too, is, like, the convenience. And also, Lando seemed very different than he was in the older films. I didn't I didn't think so. I mean, I knew it was Lando. Like, I'm like, it's obviously going to be Lando. That's the, He's the last one. I did, like, Wedge coming back. That was a nice little add-on. They had Wedge back? Yeah. Where? He's uh, he shows up at the end when the, everyone shows up. He's he's actually in the Millennium Falcon in the shooter seat. Oh, is that him? Yeah, it's him. That's oh. Wedge. Oh, you know he's like Ewan McGregor's uncle or something like that. Is he? Yeah, that's one thing I'm excited for. Uh, I think in the end we got a new trilogy. Either like it or I guess it's more like love it or hate it. You know, it. I'm sure the younger generation <laughs> now, because like it was the younger generation now that sort of likes the prequels. It's true. True, I don't and understand. So there is going to be a younger generation that this oh. is their Star Wars trilogy, oh. and they they are going to love it. The CG is be... great. The That's... Eff- like the action is fantastic. The action, the effects, um, the best the, lights the visuals battle, are though, beautiful. The visuals are great. The best lights ever battle will still always be the. Um, I will say there's some the pretty Sith. damn great like lightsaber lightsaber battles in both prequel and sequel. Are terrific. They're on point. And then, like, you look at original, you're like, holy crap, that is a big problem of the originals. I know. It's because you had Alex well, Guinness. You got old people fighting. years old <laughs> fighting. And... <laughs> like, it feels really bad. Yeah. Uh, so there's that aspect. But I think, I think in and of itself, you almost have to look at it like its own. It's its own thing. It's and own And you have to grade thing. it on a curve of time, I guess. Yeah. As well. I, like, I think as its own, it's pretty decent. If you add in the rest of the lore, some of it fits, some of it doesn't, some of it feels retcon. But Star Wars has always been doing that. Like yeah. since the beginning, there's been retcons over and over in books, and then they keep like unscrewing things. And this is now uh, legends. This is now canon. But like, yeah. well, wasn't the Battle of Jakku the final thing? Not the Battle of Endor. It doesn't matter. That's in a book. Like it's just, it's such a mess. It feels like the X Men series. And it doesn't yeah. mean there's there doesn't mean there's not gems in the X Men series. Good moments and good characters, but it, all in all, you just gotta take it as is. It's fantasy, people. It's sci-fi. I think relax a little and just enjoy it. No, at the end of the day, <laughs> enjoy it. But it like I you don't can know. have, and and that's the other thing too. You can have your criticisms. You can criticize it and nitpick it. I personally, I enjoyed it. I left the theater. I was like, you know what? It didn't do all the decisions I did, but I mean. 
were they ever going to do the decisions? I went there with no expectations, and I actually really liked it. Yeah. Eh? If I had any expectations that I knew it was going to be bad, would I have agreed? I don't know. I maybe would have made maybe nitpicked it, but I just wanted to enjoy it for what it was because yeah. of the episode eight fiasco. And even episode eight, I fit. I, I went. I left, and I was like, oh, okay, it's not so bad. And then, and like over time, right? You're like, oh yeah, but what about that? And what about that? I feel like this movie might start doing that. I think over um, time, I like watching it again. I, I may take more issue with but it. That's, but that's but that's the other thing too, because I rewatched episode eight, and I felt like maybe I criticized it too much, and too I feel hard like at the time. Maybe because I rewatched and I was like, okay, like the, the moments that I hate, I still hate, absolutely yeah. hate them. But if I look past them. I'm like, there is some great stuff in there, but there's a lot I don't like either. Yeah. But I think re-watching episode nine, and if I ever go back to episode seven and eight, I might be able to kind of maybe look at it at a different angle. It's kind of like when you re-watch, like for example, again, like Endgame and Infinity War, and then go back and watch one of the least favorite Avengers movie, Avengers 2. It makes it better. It actually makes it better. It builds upon yeah, it. Yeah, I rewatched the, the third, first Thor movie, and I was like, yeah, it, it kind of works. It just, it, 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 it's weird, right? Because, like, episode nine tries to fix like, episode eight, so some some of the things you don't like in episode eight, you're like, ah, but I guess Leia was a Jedi master, some sort of kind of thing, you know right? What? Like, I did like seeing that flashback with them training. Although, it still looks weird. Doesn't look good to you? The it de-aging, you. Marvel can do de-aging pretty damn good. You know I, what, I felt uh, off about this. I think it's just because of, like, they the made de-aging Luke, is their actual faces. They like made, But they made Luke look like um, a new Hope Luke. Yeah, and his which, face yeah. changes because of that car accident. Because of the car accident. So I think, Even Leia looked a little off to me. Yeah, like she was CGI the whole movie, wasn't she? See, Old I heard like something along the lines of like, uh, a lot of her scenes... That's the other thing too. If if knowing not knowing that she died, her scenes are weird and her scenes are weird knowing that that is because I think they use reused also, footage of like so they had to like work around her script to make it work. You for know her that, lines. that in the Simpsons where we'll use other footage thing when Milhouse is a uh, radio or a uh, Fallout Boy in the Radioactive Man movie. Maybe it was like that. It felt it felt a little like that. Uh, did I like her moment of death? It felt a little like. Oh, okay. That's all it took for her, I guess. Yeah, but like, but yeah, like, I mean, eventually she, she had to go. So, what was her thing? Like, she just talked to. She just said a word and to, like, to him, was like, and then did died. she project Han across the did thing? She? Or I don't was think that so. In... I think that was his his imagination, right? His his good, his father coming out of Ben Solo. But like, what thing? a risk, though. You're gonna like distract your son who you're trying to save in a lightsaber battle and then he gets stabbed it does feel odd die. it felt off and a lot of and people then, are like, i love her send off i'm like but it felt worse than luke's send off you know what <laughs> i you know what if they they wanted to if like the plan was not to kill her they could have just had her there at the end i know like I like they didn't need to kill her like she could live on as they Princess didn't need Leia. to kill her or they could have killed her in episode eight yeah, it would have worked other. in either one. I, Episode eight could have worked with a couple reshoots, and that would have been fine. Yeah, it would have been like you know, like the she's Paul not Walker. that much at the end. Like after she like fall, like goes into space, there's not much after her. Of you know her. the uh, Paul Walker send off. Yeah, right? and he's just like there with the. He's just there, there on the beach, and yeah. then it, like if Leia had something like that, it could work there too. I, she, but again, that's not the biggest. She could hang out three PO. Maybe she's like. <laughs> I don't know. Like, overall, yeah, I will say I don't want to complain about getting Star Wars because I am happy to get Star Wars. That's the thing, right? And I will say if this is the end of Skywalker, this is the end of of, of, of Star Wars films, there might be more coming that might. I want what I want from Star Wars moving on is what the Mandalorian is currently doing is I want stories in the world that aren't related at all to anything I know. No, yeah. Like they're little things, little aliens, little things I've seen in the world. But, Give me more of that stuff, but right? But it Just, is like that world. Like That's, the everyday world. I don't want to know about the Jedis and the Skywalker see, saga. I, I would have liked some type of big history in the new one of this is the Sith. This is why this is important. See, but you can do prequels, too. You can do like Knights of the Old Republic kind of stuff. Yeah, that would have been pretty cool. That's like cool. centuries old. Like it's not connected. What I mean is like I want something unconnected uh, to the I Skywalker do have saga. One more big gripe, I will say, about the movie. So... Palpatine at one point says, like, this has been his plan all along. Right, 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 right. So his plan all along was to, like, hijack Naboo, get into the Senate, 
take know, over the Senate. Take over the Senate. So everything's going pretty good, right? Then he fights the Jedi, fucks up his face, but he turns like, you know, Anakin over to the dark side. Yeah. Then he gets all that rocking, builds his first Death Star. Has sex at one point. Yeah, fucks, fucks, some, fucks some ladies. Don't be crude. Don't be crude. I don't know. He's doing some Sith stuff. And there's also actually theories that Palpatine used like force to, to, yeah, to yeah, make yeah, Anakin. I heard about that. So Anakin and Kylo, or not Anakin, but like Rey and Kylo. All like, come from the same midichlorian. Yeah, yeah. And then that's kind of incestuous <laughs> in a but way. But I mean, Star Wars has always been incestuous. Yeah, very I, I, much so. But I, wait, I, I'll let you finish your comment. I'll make a last comment. But yeah, so, and then, so his plan was, yeah, build that first Death Star, have it get blown up by Luke, build another Death Star, get thrown down a tube, get all fucked up. I think. And then remake some other, like, baddie, and then I don't think to it was get his, to the point. I don't think it was his plan all along. I think it's, like, contingency plans. Because like she, he Palpatine, said that though. He said like the, like oh, it's been me all the time. I've been the voice in your head. I've been this. I've been that. For the like, for the new ones, yeah. I because that's that that all happens after he technically dies. So I think he had a backup plan. I guess. See, like it's a even, contingency. Okay, you got to think in that way. Like I, I I don't think he had the plan originally. This is more like this is what happens. Because let's be honest. The, the Sith have always been known to overthrow each other. He knew at one point Vader would try to take over. That's always yeah. been the thing, right? The 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 the, the um the disciple, whatever you want to call it, the Yeah. Always overtakes the master in, in when they it don't comes call to them the Padawans. Sith. Yeah, I forget what they're called, but master again, apprentice. The apprentice. The apprentice over like becomes the master when he kills the master. It's always been a thing. So Palpatine being a very smart and coolest character in freaking the prequels. Yeah. Like screw Vader in that screw Anakin it's Palpatine's story and it's awesome yeah but I think in the end I think like just because he's a smart character he probably had that contingency plan that's the way I want to see it yeah um because if I over like if I look too much like he planned the whole thing it feels like the villain from Black Panther yeah just like everything had to fall into place for this to happen that doesn't happen yeah to me just a revenge story is better yeah what if he's just pissed off he like, just he comes back and he's just pissed off and he like just he wants just to wants revenge. Everything. Yeah, he just wants like instead again. Of, like, I think I think it's there might have been some plans for that, but episode eight. I think the reason why episode nine and it has problems is because of episode eight. Yeah. I think a lot of it is because of episode eight. If episode eight would have brought on more stuff, episode nine would have felt less rushed, and I feel like we might have had something different. Yeah. You know, we, we could have seen Kylo's journey turning back to good and not just that, like, click of a switch kind of thing. It always feels like a click of a switch when it comes to switching good to bad. <laughs> With and bad the Skywalkers? Good. Right? The, like, Anakin oh, my switches. God. Anakin switches from, like, no, Mace Windu, to I'm going to go kill children now in, like, yeah. 10 minutes. And then from, like, I'm going to kill my son. Nah, I'm not going to kill my son. I'm going to shove this like, guy it just, down a it, tube. It just, it, there's such switcheroos. Yeah, no. I guess at least there's a precedent, right? <laughs> I, that's what I was saying. Like and, with and the force healing, yeah. there wasn't a precedent. I was like, oh, okay. There might have been. There, there might be precedent. The, the only in, like, reason the snake here canon, is, is going like, to happen is because they're showing me this because somebody's going to get hurt and someone's going to. And in my head, when I saw the snake thing, I was like, Kylo Ren or her is going to die at one point. And really, you saw that. that coming? Oh, right away. I was like, I, oh, I had a feeling there, there's a reason for it. Like, obviously, they're going to use it. Didn't forward the plot at all. That all that that moment had no. Oh stakes. no, it felt it, it felt like there's it's going to happen later. And then when Kylo got hurt, I'm like, okay, that's where it's going to end. But then when she died, I'm like, I pray, I sure as hell. I was hoping he'd do it, and it doesn't work, right? Or ah. she comes back and then she dies again. Like just. Like, because uh, Sean brought that up, and I was like, you know what? That's good. I'm yeah. really happy with that. But she shouldn't come back. Yeah. Stay dead. There's a reason why no one's ever come People back. People would have been really dead. upset if she didn't come back. Though. I'm I'm upset that she did. And that's the problem. Yeah. I think her story should have ended there. That's the only biggest problem I had with the movie. I still enjoyed it. Um, I think Lucas has always... Lucas, a lot of people were like, well, you know, this move, this sequel, this, this, this trilogy wasn't planned. Let's be honest. Uh, Lucas didn't plan the original trilogy either. He had somewhat of an he idea. He had somewhat of an idea, but you can tell. There is episode, stuff. episode four, or let's be called it Star Wars originally. Yeah. Was not, it was originally a Flash Gordon, uh, supposed to be a Flash Gordon movie that he couldn't get. So he wrote his own. Yeah. 
And then threw in like the whole Vader becoming uh, like the father thing was actually a, like a draft of the second. Like it wasn't planned till later. And then the Sister King thing came after that. He didn't technically. There's a lot of stuff that wasn't planned. Yeah. So you can't. The originals, they're great. But they're not that great either like i don't know it's i think just, over time but at the time it's the nostalgia glasses that i think that we see yeah and a lot of people put them on a pedestal and they're, they're great movies i will say i of, love them i'm a star them, wars I, w- I was wearing a star wars shirt when i went to empire, see this. though empire is it works it's a good film empire is a very good movie it's it, my favorite and i think actually um new hope isn't that great to me i'm no. uh, like it's got problems but, it does but it, it works as a film like if they like work wanna, as yeah, like a, that's a the story. thing. They work as films. They work as films. Effects and, aren't the greatest, but Empire works as both like an effects it, film for the time and now holds up. Empire and it works, is terrific, and it works as a story. Of and conflict. let's and, and you know what? George Lucas didn't direct that. No, Irving Kirshner. <laughs> and uh, actually, he had a uh, he had a story credit. Actually, somebody else wrote it too. The guy yeah. who wrote um, no, Lucas did not did movies. not write or direct anything but the the first one and the prequels. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and you know what? The prequels kind of suck. Yeah. So I'm just saying, people just kind of kind of calm down about it. Enjoy the movies for what I they agree. are. I it's agree. different people's visions. Maybe Disney is controlling things. But let's be honest, Disney also is making The Mandalorian, and that's pretty great too. So yeah. sometimes you're you're getting it. Sometimes you're just kind of stuck with the material you've got. Yeah. They made some bad decisions. They made some good decisions. I'm excited to see where Disney Plus is going with yeah. more where, Star where Wars TV shows. In the in the Star Wars universe, cinematic universe, yeah. I'd say. What do you want to see next? Honestly, something that's not connected to the Skywalkers. Give me something new. Yeah, eh? Give me a, a cool or story. Anyone, or anyone Anything. we know. I would say anyone we know. I don't want to see anyone no. we know. Give me either like in oh. the future, in the middle, in the in between. Uh, when maybe the First Order was starting. You know, just. But like new characters. new Just a whole new thing. Or prequels. You can have Jedis again. Jedis are cool and Sith are cool. But don't show, show me like a hundred thousand years back. I don't care. Just show me something different. Yeah, I would like to see like the beginnings of the universe stuff, like yeah. like maybe the beginnings of the Sith, the beginnings of the Jedi, and how that all broke off, like the first Sith and the first Jedi, you know. And a lot of people, I have not played the games, but the Repu- the, the, the 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 old Republic games apparently have great stories and great characters. You can base it off that. Yeah, there's so many books of the Legends books that are apparently pretty good. I just I don't want anything that we know. I want to use the world and like you can use aliens and races and maybe some like uh, connections to like spaceships and stuff. But I just want to see stuff, new stuff. Give me something new. Yeah. I think that's Having where any of the new characters or old characters or anything like that. It lowers the stakes right it away. Does. You don't it does. It, 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 and it, it lowers the stakes, but it also makes fans who are familiar with things that they're less disappointed because yeah. they're in new territory. Yeah. They're with new stories. And that's again where the Mandalorian is shining. Uh, well, we almost hit about forty minutes. Wow. Here for our okay. So, <laughs> um, so overall, we I think we both liked it. Is we both issues? liked it. It has yes. issues. Yeah. Um, let us know what you guys think in the comments on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter and uh, and in Facebook even. And and you know we're happy to talk and talk about stuff. And I'm sure over time we're gonna come up with more things that we either know. liked. I I, I need, you know, honestly I would rewatch it again. Where'd you buy a ticket again? No, I. That's that's the thing. The only movie I ever wanted to buy a ticket for was Endgame, and I did, and no. I didn't. Oh, really? <laughs> I've never seen a movie twice in the movie theater. This is a movie I'm more excited of rewatching than I was for Last Jedi. Yeah, I mean, I hadn't seen Last Jedi till like more recently, and that's just so I wanted to just catch up for Episode Nine. I would rewatch Episode Nine like if it came out on like DVD or Blu-ray, and someone's right. like, "Hey, you want to go It'll see?" It'll be on it? Like, Disney yeah. Plus, I'm sure, at one point. Exactly. So. I'm like, I'd watch it again. Like recently after I'm okay with that either. Am I going to like it more? Am I going to hate it more? I don't know, Mm. but I'm open to watching again more than there is like the old trilogy I put on and I get like the warm fuzzy feeling and I put on the prequels and I get a bit, I get it a bit with uh, some of it, right? Cause you grew up like a kid, but then like I I put on uh, Attack of the Clones (laughs) uh, the other day. You know what? The the parts with Obi-Wan, I'm like, Oh, these are really strong. Obi-Wan 
there's 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 things that are strong about the prequels. Obi Wan, Shiv, and or Shiv, I forget how to say his name, but like Palpatine, and uh, the battles. Yeah, it's strong. Like, those are strong. The Anakin thing, which is pretty much the main reason for these movies, sucks. It's bad. It's, it's not so good. bad. Also, Darth Maul is cool. Uh, Revis is cool. Revis is cool. There's a lot of cool stuff in it. There's a lot of stuff happening that's pretty cool. So that and that's that's why the Clone Wars TV show actually was actually pretty decent because it doesn't go on the whole rom com of the Anakin. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so th- there are some great things, and I am excited to see uh, Ewan McGregor come back as Obi Wan. Oh, uh, some criticism though about the Star Wars. We'll wrap this up, honestly. Yeah, let's let's wrap. Some up. criticism about the Star Wars universe is to say that you don't get like your square meals from the one source. You're kind of forced to be like, well, you know, you get a good button end on the Darth Maul thing if you watch this, or yeah, yeah, oh, you got to play this video game to get this storyline to make that make sense, or you know, oh, you had to have read this. Padawan. It feels less though. Like now, it's more like you got to watch like a couple TV shows, like because they kind of kind of scratched all the the books. Which thank God, because I would never caught up. Yeah, with book stuff. so many. Yeah. But at least I've, I've caught up on I've most a of the TV too. shows. So at least I've got that. But I know what you mean. It's spanned across a lot of stuff, and no. uh, Marvel is also doing that as well. Of like now, right? Like we're getting more and more stuff. There's more yeah. TV shows coming out, so that might that, may that be might harder turn. to keep it might be of, harder to yeah. keep track. I'm still on that bandwagon. Yeah, and you know what? I'm still on the Star Wars bandwagon. Yeah, hey, love or hate, I will still go see Star Wars. And I'm still excited to see what's coming out because at the end of the day, we're still getting Star Wars. Yeah. No, you're right. That's and that's exactly how I feel. All right. Well, thanks for listening, folks. And uh, we'll be back soon with more Star Wars related stuff. Yeah, probably. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. Thanks for listening. Be sure to subscribe, rate, and review the podcast. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at Lost Commentary on Instagram at Raiders of the Lost Commentary and like us on Facebook. I'll be back.